Welcome back to Unplugged Robotics by Non. Today I'll be introducing a new activity. It is the Flowchart Board Game Level 1. This activity will be slightly more challenging than our Match the Symbol and Jigsaw activity and will build on the knowledge from previous activities. The aims of this activity include to make students remember flowchart symbols and their usage whilst creating logical thinking, the flowchart board game will allow students to learn by playing a simple and fun board game. Let's begin by creating the board game. All that we will need is simply the board game template and any material to strengthen and turn the template into a board game. In addition to the board itself, we have a deck of cards. Currently, this may seem confusing, but all will be explained later in the video. All the templates can be found on my website, and here is the link. Let's move on to creating this activity. First, we will need to print out the board game templates and the deck of cards. The deck of cards will need to be printed double-sided, and the template has been designed to allow double-sided printing. Cut out the board game and the deck of cards. Stick the board game onto the backboard. Now we are good to go. Additional equipment that we will need are counters and a dice. This board game is played just like any other board game. Players will begin at the start and the first player to reach the finish line is, as always, the winner. However, what is different is that all the positions on the board game have been replaced by flowchart symbols. Each of the symbols have a designated task. Start would refer to the start line. Process would require the player to wait for their next turn to roll the dice. Input output would require the player to draw a card from the deck. Each of the cards refer to a specific numbered color. Decision would require the player to choose between two pathways. And last but not least, end is the finish line. As we have multiple ways of reaching the finish line, the different pathways are color-coded, as highlighted on screen now. On screen now is a demonstration of how to play this board game. Here, the player rolls a 4. They move 4 positions and reach process. Since they are on process, they will have to wait for their next turn to roll the dice again. If the player lands on the input-output, they will have to draw a card from the deck. For example, the player draws a forward 3 card, and so they will have to move 3 positions forward, following the numbers in black as they are currently on the sequence. If the player draws a backward 2 card, they will have to move 2 positions backward on the colored number sequence that they are on. If the player draws a go to blue 10, the player will have to find the number 10 in blue and move there. If the player draws a go to red 7, the player will have to find the number 7 in red and move there. The path that each player follows will depend on the colored number sequence that they are on and they will have to follow the arrows between each symbol on that sequence. If the player reaches a decision block, the player has an option of yes to take the riskier but faster route or no to take the normal route. Here, the player is choosing no and will continue on the numbered sequence in black. In this case, the player is moving in the yes direction. Here, the player is moving from the numbered sequence in black to the numbered sequence in red. Since the player has chosen the risky route in this example, the player lands on input-output and they will have to draw a card. They draw forward 2 and land on another input-output 
so they draw another card. They draw a go to 7 in black card and will have to move backwards. In this case, the riskier option turned out to move the player backwards rather than forwards. This activity will help students and beginners remember flowchart symbols as they will see examples of each symbol's usage within the board game. In addition, the choice at the decision position will begin to develop logical thinking as students will have to choose between a risky but faster option and a safety route. I hope that this activity will be a fun and useful activity for students and beginners to robotics. This is Unplugged Robotics by Nond and I will see you for our next activity. Thank you for watching.